Well, that works. Okay, guys. So, quickly explaining what the hell this build is even about. The whole trick with the explosive physic essentially um it doesn't matter what stat distributions you have i currently run the strength build if i am going to miss my physic explosion then i am simply swapping to the shanter or anything else ultimately the whole idea is to use the sacred scorpion charm because it boosts the holy damage and the physic explosion is actually in fact holy damage ritual sword talisman also increases your damage you just have to uh, be at 100 percent of your hp there is like also well that's a double shield trick essentially if you're gonna use the shield in the main hand and then in the off hand then uh, you are ultimately double boosting your damage and then this thingy it deals a lot of damage indeed oh and what i just did is also the phantom block that I wasn't using throughout the video, but yeah, you can do that. Hi! Oh no. His friends, <laughs> very fun fight. Libera Bobera. I have an idea. Check this out. It's only working 100% of the time so far, real. More like 75% of the time, but 75% of the time it actually works 100% of the time, so. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, I missed. <laughs> hey, this is the matter. <laughs> I think this strategy is perfect for exposing why you're supposed to have more than 40 vigor. Why the sub cap of the 40 vigor is not enough. You know, a lot of the websites actually, like for example, the build planners, even EIP, informs you, hey, look, you're gonna have diminishing returns after the 40 vigor, which is actually true, but they are not so fucking bad. It's, they are still getting enough HP. But having like a 40 Vigor is literally not enough. Oh, the... It's okay. I can toss you around if you want. Are you going to die? <laughs> Please stop chasing me. Listen, why we can't be friends? Why we can't be friends? Why? Well, unfortunate. If I wouldn't get hit, then yeah. I would kill him. Insane? this? Quick. Hello gamers. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you love the people's reaction when someone dies to the flask? Yeah, it's 
Especially because this flask, like normal flask deals around 1200 damage, yeah? Something like that. So like a 40 Vigor gamer is supposed to survive. But the double buff of the jellyfish plus on top of that, like the, the Scorp Talisman, increases the damage enough to just pretty much guarantee you the one shot on someone that has 40 Vigor. And uh, in on, of, if on top of that you are going to add the Ritual Sword Talisman, this, this is essentially guaranteed one shot on someone that has optimized 60 Vigor. So yeah, it's quite shocking, I would assume, on the meta level. How the gamers? Mm -mm. And the guy just standing still. <laughs> well, hmm. she's double be very fun fight. Wait! Oh my god, it's happening! Yes! <laughs> no! Wait. Is this JK Rowling? Okay, do I kill and then I, I end the transphobic issues in the world? Is that the case? Okay, murder! Come here! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, guys, we can play Hogwarts Legacy from now on. Pog Champ! Did you What the fuck? Okay, she's. <laughs> Let's see. Kaboom. It did less damage. That's interesting. Some buff must run off? No. It's probably the same issue like in Dark Souls 3. When he was running dark damage, which is coded like literally the same way like holy damage. If he was running the hornet, he was actually doing less damage. So some multipliers like actually literally cause you to, to lose damage with fucking dark in Dark Souls 3. And probably the same goes here for Dark Souls uh, for, for Elden Ring.